Hi, I'm John McLean, National Product Training Manager for Rock Island Armory. Today we're going to talk about how to disassemble the VR80 shotgun. Now before we do anything, the first and most important step is to make sure that the firearm is completely and utterly unloaded. So we're going to do that by removing the magazine and opening the chamber to ensure that there are no bullets or shells inside the gun or anywhere around the workstation. The first step to disassembly is we're going to take the upper receiver off from the lower receiver, much like you would an AR-15. Let's pop out the two pins. And the upper receiver comes right off the lower receiver. Now we're going to start the disassembly of the upper receiver. To start, we're going to start by uh, removing the barrel shroud. We're just going to grab that and twist it until it comes off. At this point, the handguard will slide right off. And now we're going to take the gas system assembly apart. We're going to start by removing the retainer screw here. Pull down and the split rings will come out. As will the rest of the gas assembly. Uh, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, barrel from the upper assembly. There's going to be two Allen sets here. Uh, the first screw is going to come completely out of the receiver, and then the second screw will be located directly underneath it, and that one we just have to loosen up. So we're going to remove this one. And then again, the second uh, screw is going to be right inside. We're just going to loosen that up until the barrel comes free from the upper assembly. Now, to remove the bolt assembly, remove the charging handle. The bolt assembly will come out of the upper receiver and then we'll take the uh, buffer bolt system off, just lifts up off of the uh, track piece there. And now we have our upper completely disassembled. Now let's get to the lower. In order to remove the stock from the lower assembly, First step is going to be to remove the screw on the bottom base plate here. Let's remove that screw. Bottom plate will come off. There's another screw inside of the grip that's going to have to be removed by using a longer Allen wrench. Now on the back side, there's another Phillips screw to remove for the buttstock pad. Remove the bottom first so that the notch on the top will slide out. And on the back, there's going to be one more uh, buttstock retainer Allen key screw that we're going to remove. With all that removed, simply slide the buttstock off of the commercial tube. That is the complete disassembly of the Rock Island Armory Imports VR80 shotgun. So now that we have the VR80 completely disassembled, let's go ahead and reassemble it. We're going to start with the lower receiver and just pretty much work in reverse order by taking the buttstock and sliding it onto that commercial tube. And we're going to take the buttstock retainer screw and we're going to start with that. Now with the buttstock retainer screw in place, we're going to take the rubber buttstock and insert it top first and reinsert the screw to keep that secure. Next, we need to reinsert the grip screw with the Allen key. Now 
and then place the bottom plate back on. And that will be the reassembly of the lower portion. Now let's get to the upper. We're gonna start by placing the bolt assembly back into the upper receiver. So we're simply just gonna slide that back on top. Slide it in and replace the charging handle. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna place the barrel back into the upper receiver. So make sure the bolt is to the rear. Slide the barrel in place, making sure that we align the uh, detent hole in line with the retention screws. And then we're going to tighten up the lower screw first. And that is what's going to retain the barrel into the upper receiver. And then the cover screw will be placed back on top of that one. So now that the barrel's in place, we're gonna reinstall the gas system. In reverse order, again. Sleeve on first, followed by the gas ring. <clears throat> now important to keep in mind about the gas ring is make sure that you're installing the correct one depending on what kind of load you're gonna be shooting. If you're gonna be shooting lighter three gun competition or birdshot loads, you're gonna want the light ring versus something heavier with slugs or magnums, then you're gonna want that heavy gas ring system installed. And here, split rings will go into place. Make sure that the bolt is up in the forward position and lastly put on the retainer nut. Now that we have the gas system assembled, we're gonna take the handguard and place that over the barrel. And finally, to secure everything back in place, we're gonna take the barrel shrub and screw that back on nice and tight. That's a complete reassembly of the upper assembly. And to put it all back together, we just push the pins back in place. Push the pins in. Make sure the gun cycles real quick. And that's a complete reassembly of the RIA Imports VR80 shotgun. For more information, visit armscore.com.